The race for the Democratic nomination is now essentially down to a two-man race. One of them is in town tonight. That's right. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is holding a rally at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix. That is the same place that President Trump held a Keep America Great rally just a few weeks ago. Team Charles Michael Doudna is live for us inside the Coliseum with a look at what we can expect to hear tonight. Michael? Yeah, guys, we're about 90 minutes from Senator Sanders scheduled to take the stage rallying here in Arizona for the first time as part of his 2020 run for president. As you can see behind me, the doors have been open for about 30 minutes. We're slowly starting to fill up this arena that President Trump filled up just weeks ago. Talk to the campaign. They expect it to fill close to capacity. We'll see how close we can actually get here. But the question really for tonight is, can this be a site of a rebound for Sanders? After Super Tuesday, saw him fall slightly behind on the delegate count to Vice President Joe Biden. The question is, what really comes next? Earlier today, Senator Elizabeth Warren dropped out of the race. Her policies tend to align with Senator Sanders, but right now, no one knows if she would endorse her now former rival. After all, the two have had public spats on the national stage, including during a January debate in Iowa. Back then, a he said, she said, after Sanders denied telling Warren in 2018 that we be tough for a woman to beat Donald Trump. I think you called me a liar on national TV. I think you called me a liar on national you know, TV. Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion? We'll have that Anytime. discussion. You called me. You told me. All right, let's not do it now. Um, the senator's, you know, going to make up her own mind and her own time. Um, she ran an excellent campaign, and her supporters deserve, and she deserves, to take her time to make up her mind. And her supporters, of course, deserve the chance to look at all the candidates, take a second look, and really decide where they want to be. Supporters could go, could end up having a big impact on this race. Now, for tonight, how we expect things to go is that there'll be a little bit of a show from a local band around 6. Speakers will start talking at 6.30. And if everything goes according to schedule, we'll hear from the senator himself around 6.45. Now, things are starting to warm up here on the inside. But on the outside, there's still people trying to get in. And that's where we find 12 News' Mitch Carr. We'll send it out to you. Thank you, Michael. As you mentioned, the doors opened over a half an hour ago, and that's why when you look behind me, you can see that this line is moving quite quickly as people are filing in. But um, it doesn't make sense. The line is actually getting longer as more people go in. You can see that it loops around to the side of the Coliseum. And then if you look over here to the right, it goes all the way out to 19th Avenue. None of these people were here before. They've all shown up just within the last hour or so. So the people that were here earlier they were here because they are extremely enthusiastic we've got a little bit of video to show you exactly what it looked like before as uh, the line was uh, everybody was waiting to actually start walking in i spoke to the guy that was second in line his name is patrick michelson he got here at 10 a.m just to be second in line imagine that now he's originally from tempe and i asked him what he hoped to see and to feel once he got inside and once senator sanders began to speak this is my first time ever hearing bernie sanders speak um, so what I'm really hoping to see is an energy from the crowd. I want to feel the connection with the crowd, and I want us to feel that energy and belief that we really can do this and take it to the top. And as you can see, this line, it is huge. And so there is really some momentum building here for Senator Sanders. Uh, we'll see what he has to say inside. He's got a reputation as a fiery orator, so maybe Patrick will get exactly what he was looking for. Reporting live outside of Veterans of Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix, I'm Mitch Carr. Now back to the studio. All right, Mitch, thanks for that. Senator Bernie Sanders will be in Phoenix tonight, obviously, for the rally at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum at the State Fairgrounds. We will be live streaming our coverage starting at 6.30 on 12news.com and the 12 News app, as well as on social media. So we hope you'll join us there.